Welcome back to Portland Today. We're continuing our theme of trying to get a little healthier <laughs> in this new year. We're talking about cutting back on sugar, which is just a That's huge a buzzword these days. And I think a hard for a lot of us to deal with. And here to help with this very common New Year's resolution <laughs> is Courtney Cronk, a nutritional therapist with Nourish Portland. And I know this is one of your big bugaboos. Yes. Sugar. Yeah. Why is it so bad? Well, it's basically, a, well, it's addictive for one. It's in everything. And it's the root of all inflammation. And the inflammation is the root of all disease. Mm -hmm. So it's feeding our illnesses. It makes our insulin spike and oh, every, go yeah. up and down. Yeah, blood sugar. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. I'll be the first, Courtney, to admit, um, you know, I love sugar. I've you got too. a problem with sugar. A lot of people do. And, you know, over the holidays, I indulged. I'm like, it's the holidays. Who cares? But now yeah. it's hard to cut back because it, you just crave it. Like you talked about, yeah. it's, it's addicting. It, it, yeah, so it keeps you, you wanting more, for I sure. guess, how do you go about cutting back or really losing those cravings, or can you lose the cravings? You can absolutely lose the cravings. I think the best way to get off sugar is to do it with a group. And I teach a class called the Restart Program. It's a five-week class, but it has a three-week sugar detox built in. For So for three weeks you're eliminating sugar and it's about a week or two in that your cravings start to go away and people don't believe that their cravings are going to go away because hmm. they're so you know for years or maybe their whole right, life right. they've been addicted to sugar and it actually happens and you start tasting other things mm -hmm. other flavors and things like that two well, weeks are hard it, though yeah, yeah is it yeah. is it possible to do it more gradually for people who maybe can't do a big group detox um, they can try. I, you know, the people that I've had in my classes say it's just they've tried to do it on their own. It's really hard. And so this class has a lot of support. It has a lot of education. I talk about how digestion is supposed to work, blood sugar, how blood sugar balance is a priority in the body. You know, if you don't have healthy blood sugar, forget about some of the other things you might, you know, like let's say somebody's trying to get pregnant, for instance. If your blood sugar is out of whack, your body's not going to care so much about reproductive reproduction. It's going to care about getting your blood sugar in balance. So it's a priority. Are there yeah. some simple things that we can on our own at home, you know, instead of going for the cookie? I mean, I'm sure that. Well, first of all, don't bake it, don't buy it. Don't, okay, right? there you go. Yeah. First no package, it no is processed food. in my foods. house for sure, yeah. but I know it's not good for my kids right. either. Yeah, of course. And they, they're going to do what you do. So if we right. take it out of our diet, take it out of our home, and it's okay during the holidays or every once in a while to have a cookie or a muffin or sure. a cake or whatever, of course. But it's just part of our culture that we fill our grocery carts with all this sugary food. Mm -hmm. And so right. we have a big problem in our country with so you know, chronic illness. It. That's the only thing I know how to do. Don't bake it, I don't buy it. <laughs> I'm a terrible cook, but boy, can I bake Well, you sugar. can make some good sugar cookies. Yeah. Courtney, what That's did you it. bring in for us today? This so I just dish. roasted up, yeah, I had some uh, yellow and red beets. So I roasted some beets with kale and bacon. So I did the bacon first in the oven, and then I roasted the vegetables in the bacon grease. I'm gonna take a so it has good, healthy fat, has it bacon on beautiful. top. Oh, that's really nice. It has nice. some thyme, salt and pepper. It's really and this simple. this is all good. It's just real food, yeah. It has okay. a little balsamic vinegar at the end. And beets are naturally sweet right so you're not That's really right. depriving yourself of the sweet flavor it is sweet you're you're just not adding any sugar so what are the benefits of cutting back on sugar besides obviously just the weight, weight loss, loss. yeah mm -hmm. so this isn't That's actually good. a weight loss program although everybody loses weight which is people sure. always want right but better sleep better really? skin tons more energy mm. you know um, more focus brain fog goes away joint pain can go away it's it's stuff this you wouldn't necessarily think about, but when you're eating a real food diet and you've cut yep. out all packaged processed foods and a lot of the grains and things that, sure. that mm -hmm. inflame us, mm -hmm. it is amazing. I mean, I've had people I lose- this every day. I know, this is amazing. Lose pretty big, I had a woman lose 14 pounds and seven inches around her waist. Wow. Now, a lot of that was inflammation. Who cares? But who cares, well, right? <laughs> and, and, they and feel where can so people much go better. to learn more about this, this course? Nourishportland.com. Okay. Yeah. Courtney starting Kronk, soon. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. Some good tips there. Thank you there. for having me.